Chapter 76 The Patriarchs' Joy in the Lord After the conclusion of this speech, Enoch once more thanked me in his heart, then reached out his hands and helped the Patriarchs up, and this in the order of the line of descent. And behold, soon all the patriarchs rose happily and throughout refreshed from the ground, thanked me exceedingly for such grace, and praised my name aloud. Yes, the great joy even affected their feet, so that they, including Adam and Eve, began to frisk about. And Seth became quite frolicsome for joy and leapt as high as he could manage. However, it happened that in his exuberance he fell, hurt his right knee slightly, and could not continue with his leaping. And he became sad as he regarded this as punishment, and turned to me in his heart, saying, O Lord, our best and most holy Father, Look graciously down upon me, poor and weak one. Look, I was so exceedingly merry in your name, and have fallen in my excessive joy. O holy, most loving and best Father, do help me, and henceforth I shall not rejoice with my feet, but rather in my heart, and praise you all the more with my tongue, using my feet according to your will, and my hands as is pleasing to you. But just this once, O holy, best and most loving Father, remove the pain from my knee. O do grant my request. Amen. And promptly he heard a mighty voice speak in his heart. Listen, Seth. You may at all times rejoice in my name. Take delight in your father and rejoice at whatever may lift you up to me. But let be any physical effort, which is useless, and just be joyful in the stillness of your heart. Delight in your life at the found life, and do not draw into the joys of life what belongs to death. Then you will never suffer any damage neither in your body nor even less in the life of your spirit out of your and my love simultaneously. Note this well and absorb it as deeply as possible into your life and there will never be an end to your joy. Now stand up and walk happily in my name. Amen. Having clearly heard this in his heart, Seth began to weep for joy and thanked me aloud for this unexpected grace. Now also the others noticed that something special had been happening to Seth and, except Enoch, they all wondered at Seth's sudden equanimity and very cheerful frame of mind. Seth noticed this and requested not to be disturbed with questions in his joy at the now found life out of God. In the evening they would perceive the answer from above within themselves anyway. Now Adam turned to the children, thanked me, blessed them all, blessed the children of the midday region and the surroundings, and then said, And now, children, Thank the Lord and prepare for the journey towards evening, and that in the known order. Asmahel between me and Enoch on the Beast of Truth. Amen.